open and close them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's help her rejoice. Hello, this is David Diga Hernandez, and right now I'm reacting to powerful ministry moments from the great Oral Roberts. Now, Oral Roberts was one of the most powerful healing evangelists of the modern church age. His healing ministry and faith stirring preaching have helped to impact and shape both the church and the world. Every time I read, hear, or see anything from this ministry, it stirs my faith. These are my genuine and spontaneous reactions to powerful moments from the ministry of Oral Roberts. So my team gave me four clips. Let's take a look at the first one. He said, Lord, my servant, laugh at home, sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. Lord, I believe, he said. I believe if you'll speak the word, my servant shall be healed. That was turning his faith loose. You speak, I'll believe. And somehow he wasn't able to believe until Jesus spoke. This speaking by Jesus was the thing that would cause him to believe, to turn his faith loose. Sure, he believed right, but one must believe more than right. He must release that believing. He must get it into action. For it is one's active faith, his released faith, his faith that's turned loose, that heals him. Because the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. All of it is action. You release your faith. God releases his power. You believe, and God heals. You do something. God does something. You turn to God. God turns to you. You believe in him, and he sends his power down to your life. So many people, so many people say, well, when God gets ready to heal me, he will. He has been ready for centuries. What are you waiting on? <laughs> He is waiting on you to believe. He is waiting on you to release that faith you have in you. He is waiting upon you to believe right and to turn your faith loose. If you believe that tonight, say amen. So every time I listen to Oral Roberts preach like that, it makes me want to run through a wall. You can sense your faith being stirred by his faith. Two things I noticed about his preaching. One, his preaching was very passionate. But number two, and more importantly, his preaching was very simple. The simplicity with which he delivered his messages helped the people to receive what he was saying. Let's take a look at the next clip. My sister, do you need prayer? Yes. Very much? Yes, sir. You have been in an automobile accident November 1st, 1957, seriously injured. You had both legs broken. Your neck has been broken in your spine. And uh, there's an affliction in your lungs. Your right hand is paralyzed. I can't feel anything with my left hand. My vision is very poor. Uh, Earlene Robbins, 11776 right. North Birmingham, Alabama, of the Baptist Church. Right. Earlene. Yes, sir. Do you fully believe Christ is able to do this? I know he is. If I wasn't living for God, I wouldn't know this. But he left me here for a purpose because on my deathbed, he told me, or told my mother, it was up to a higher power, and I know my work on earth is not done. Which is more serious, your hands or some other part of your body? My hands and my eyes. Both hands? Yes. One hand is paralyzed, the other has no feeling. Right. And your eyes are very bad. Yes, sir, I can't. Back in the audience, you are a blur to me up here. Now, here's the way I wish to pray. You see, I believe Christ is standing beside me. I can't see him with my physical eyes. I see him through my mind. I feel him in my heart and standing by me. Uh, Ma'am? I feel him too. Yes, he told me in 1947 I was to lay hands upon the people in prayer and pray for them. He told me that. Now, as he stands by me, and I see him not with my eyes, but with my mind, as I see him, I see him saying, Oral, you lay hands upon Earlene Robbins as an instrument so I may heal her body. Now I'm touching you as he tells me. Are you ready? I'm ready. Christ, I touch her because you tell me to touch her, and I believe for her healing. Stretch forth your hands. Open and close them. Glory. 
<laughs> Let's help her rejoice. Shake my right hand. Yes, you have life. Shake this hand. Oh, you do have life. Uh, now, how does your... Look straight at me. Your eyes are clear. Yes, sir, you're as clear as a bell. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. You said I was a blur before, and now I'm clear. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, God. Our God opens the eyes of the blind. You could see the transformation in the woman. When she walked up to receive prayer, you could see she had this heaviness on her. And then when Oral Roberts laid his hands on her, you could see her physically reacting the moment that the power of God went through her. And she was completely healed. And she went from having that downtrodden look to being filled with joy, filled with hope, and filled with God's healing power. You saw the difference in her. She was able to move her hands. She was able to see. I absolutely love that. One of the other things I love about that clip was the fact that Oral Roberts points to the presence of Jesus. Because when you can get people to look at Jesus through the eyes of faith, the miracle happens. Young man, why are you here? Uh, I, I stutter and, uh, and uh, I have got a uh, hole in my uh, eardrum. Eddie Foster, 13, Shelbyville, Tennessee. Uh, he's been saved during the meeting, I suppose. Yes, sir. And you're not a member of a church? No, sir. Well, were you born like this? No, sir. How long have you stammered? Well, since I was small. Eddie, what makes you think Christ will heal you? Because I just know he will. In my Savior's name, let him talk for the rest of his life without stammering or stuttering. Heal his flesh and heal so that the fear leaves him and may he never stammer again in Christ's name. Eddie, did you feel the Lord? Yes, sir. Where did you feel him? All over. Eddie, are you going to talk? Yes, sir. What makes you think you'll talk? Because I just know I will. Wow. How do you know? God, I'm just positive. What makes you feel so positive? Because I, I can just feel it. Where did you feel it? Well, well, all up in here and just all over. Eddie? Sir? You want to count to ten right quick by the help of God? Yes, sir. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eddie? This healing clip right here I find especially moving. When Oral Roberts lays his hands on the boy, you could see a single tear fall from his eye and roll down his cheek. It was as if he knew that something was happening in him. And that was quite moving to watch. Many people in Oral Roberts' meetings would describe this electric current moving through their bodies when he would lay hands on them. We know it was the power of the Holy Spirit. And then, of course, that power demonstrated itself in the fact that the boy was able to speak after receiving that healing touch. You think God can heal you? Yes, well, I believe he can. Will you join me now? As I pray for this young man tonight, oh God, let thy healing go into his hip and limbs. Let the healing virtue of Christ heal him. Brother Deweese, I want him on my knee just one minute. Son, he's going to lift you up here. Brother Deweese, are you ready for this? Pastors, the sponsors and churches, are you praying with me tonight? Audience in the tent, you friends there, 
Now, Jesus, we ask that his little limbs be healed and that they shall be restored. Restore them tonight in the name of Christ the Lord. Oh, God, loosen that little foot up and take the stiffness. Oh, it's coming now, son. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, God. Now then, Billy Ray, I want you to raise that leg up like that. Oh, you can do it. Raise this one up, son. Now raise this little leg up, son. Oh, that's wonderful tonight. Jesus of Nazareth. Let that virtue of healing go into this limb once more, into his little right foot particularly. Heal by thy power and make him whole. What do you say? What do you think, hon? You like that. It, 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 it is straightening. Yeah. How can you tell it's straightening? Because I couldn't lift my leg up like you that. You couldn't lift it up. Oh, oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Brother Dewey's we're going to put him down now. Honey, oh, he wants down. Honey, walk on off, son. Walk on. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> this right here, this is what Jesus does. Jesus heals the sick. You notice that Oral Roberts, when he began to pray for him, asked the boy, do you believe? Because that's all it takes. Simple faith, only believe. The miracle will happen if you only believe. When Jesus would heal the sick, he would say, your faith has made you whole. Now, I love the miracle that we witnessed here, but what I really, really, really love is the smiling mother behind the boy as he began to walk off into his new life, having been healed by God's power. So that was my reaction to some powerful ministry moments from the great Oral Roberts. And I wanna say this in closing, one of the things I appreciate about the ministry of Oral Roberts wasn't just the miracles, but the method of ministry. He was one of the first to pioneer the television ministry as we know it today. And God certainly used him to trailblaze for many of us who would come after him. Now, what did you like most about these ministry moments? Which one was your favorite? And did you notice anything that I missed? Let me know in the comment section. That does it for this reaction video. Until next time, remember, nothing is impossible with God. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.